Zombie Apocalypse. Before we get started, let me just say that this is my first YouTube video. In front of the camera anyway. It's probably going to be a little rough. I'm still learning techniques, I'm still learning workflows, I'm still learning software. Um, there's a lot to learn in this space. And so if you see something you think you can improve on, something you think, hey, I, I happen to know how you fix that, or here's a better way to do this other thing, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments down below. So thanks for, thanks for watching, and let's get started. What's up folks, Zombie Possum here, and I'm here to tell you today about a really cool feature. It's actually found in the software called Skype. And you probably think, you know, Skype, Microsoft. It's a piece of software that's been around for ages. But it can do something really cool that maybe you didn't know about. As a streamer, frequently I want to pull in video from people who I would like to collaborate with. People who I'm playing video games with, um, maybe uh, for a show or maybe just for uh, you, know, uh, a, a, you know, a chat or a talk show. The easiest way to do that, as it turns out, is to use a technology called New Tech NDI. Now this technology is real simple. It allows you to re-host or capture the video feed from your Skype call and rehost it in Streamlabs or OBS. I'm gonna put down in the description below the links to all the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need the desktop version of Skype, you're gonna need a plugin for Streamlabs or OBS, and of course, naturally, you're gonna need Streamlabs or OBS. That's all you need. Using those pieces of software, you can pull in the video and audio from your Skype call and rehost it on your stream. It's pretty amazing. Let's jump to a clip where I've used the same technology on my weekly booze and games variety show. Check it out. So as you can see here, we're playing a little Sea of Thieves, and uh, this was a lot of fun. This game's like, uh, just a really good game if you get a chance to play it. Um, but as you can see, the video is well synced. You can see that the uh, audio is coming through fine. These guys are some guys that I like to play video games with, and being able to pull them into the stream is just a really cool feature. Are you shooting at something? What are you shooting at there, Cat? Listen, no concern. Kesma. These guys are going to come back. Um. Oh, man. I'm dead. All right, so there you can see pulling in the video, pulling in the audio right into the stream. Where, what was going on until it was too late? All right, so here we are in Windows, and first thing we need to do is bring up Skype. Now, there we go. And now you see Skype. It's got its typical uh, left panel here with all your contacts, and then if you had a call going, it'd be right here. Now, in order to get to the setting that we want to tweak to make sure that NDI is turned on, we want to go up here to the ellipsis next to your name, go to settings, and then we can go down to calling, then advanced, and finally, there's this checkbox for allow NDI usage, and you need to make sure that's turned on. Additionally, there's a Skype watermark that'll show in the videos. It's easy to hide this in uh, OBS, but it's not that intrusive. But if you want to configure where that shows, you can change that right there. And that's actually all you need to do. Once that's turned on, the next time you're on a call, the video from those calls will be available as uh, hooks in Skype uh, using the plugins for OBS and, and, and Streamlabs. So let's take a look at that. So the one additional thing you're gonna need is the new Tech NDI redistributable. This piece of software installs all the drivers and essential pieces of software that are required to hook into the video for new tech. You'll find the link to that down below. It's a simple install and we're not gonna cover that. All right, so next we wanna configure Streamlabs to uh, connect or to grab the video from a call. First, we need to call actually going. So let's pull up Skype. And close down our settings. We need to have that open. And I'm going to call it actually from my phone. So we will see um, how that works out. Okay, let's answer this. Oh no, feedback. There we go. Now. Um, we have our call open and we don't have video on, so let's fix that. And video is now on. All right, so now you can see um, my goofy looking face from above as well as from below. Don't mind my coffee mug. All right, so that's fine. We got that set up. Next thing we need to do is pull up Streamlabs and we can actually go down here and I, well, I've added a couple of sources here and that is uh, 
what you use to capture a video. And if we were gonna add a new one, we'd click the plus and then this NDI source is here available. All right, but we've already got a couple in our seam, so let's just use those. We'll go to properties and we can simply drop down from the source name. And because an NDI call is enabled, we can click that and hit done. And we have video, all right? And that video is really small because it is been tweaked. But as you can see, we have the video from our call. Um, let's pull this over. There we go. All right. So now you can see the video from our call. It's really that simple. Pretty amazing technology. The video and the audio is synced very well. I actually use Discord for our audio because it's easier for my uh, for my friends. But we we don't have any problems with it at all. It really works well. So that's how you do that. So that's that. Using this technology, you can pull in video from Skype calls and rehost them in your stream or rehost them in your YouTube videos, uh, all using Streamlabs or OBS Studio. It's a really fantastic piece of software and it's an, it was an amazing find. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make this work with StreamTogether.io and other different options out there, and none of them really worked as well as this. So I hope this helps you out. I've also included a link to a document that describes a, a few other ways you can use this technology, such as rehosting your video, like your game, and porting that out as, a, as, a, uh, as an NDI stream that you could then capture using another machine. A lot of people are using this techno technique to uh, port their game video over to a stream machine without having to use a capture card. It's an interesting technique. I don't know if it works well. I've not tried it, but it sounds interesting. And I'd like to give it a go. If you try it out, maybe make a comment down below and let us know how it worked. Lastly, if you like what we're doing here and you found this useful, consider clicking that like button or maybe subscribe. And one other thing, I use this technology for my stream on Twitch. So if you would, come take a look. Twitch.tv slash zombie possum. I hope you'll come out and check out what I'm doing over there as well as hang out here and see what other videos we have coming down the pipe. Until then, thanks for stopping by and happy streaming.